hello guys welcome back so as we have already completed our first two challenges let's take up our third challenge now which is filter your reports so once if you click on launch let's go to our app launcher and search for sales and click on this sales so once if you get this page click on reports followed by new report now click on all followed by accounts followed by start report and once if you get this page make sure you have enabled this update preview automatically and now let's go to our filters so here search for account and let's click on this show me before searching for account so here let's move it to all accounts click on apply and now click on this create a date and let's select all time over here and then click on apply so now click on this outline tab and here we are going to remove last activity followed by last modify date so now i'm just going to click on the show fields in order to expand it and here i am just going to double click on annual revenue so which is right over here double click so it got added to columns and let's close into next to fields span in order to hide it so now we are going to drag this annual revenue in between account name and billing state so let's drag and drop it over here so it should be between our billing state so it should be something like this which is account name followed by annual revenue followed by billing state and province so once it is done click on this filter span and here we are going to search for type click on it and let's give operator as contains followed by value for copying that value let's go back to our challenge so value is given right over here so copy this and paste it over here click on apply and now let's search for billing state and province so which is right over here click on it operator should be equals and let's copy the value which is given over here copy this and paste it over here click on apply and now search for rating click on rating operator should be equal let's give value as hot followed by warm now click on apply let's search for annual revenue and click on it it should be greater or equal and let's copy the value which is given right over here now click on apply and guys now choose this drop down next to filter followed by add filter logic let's copy this logic and paste it over here now click on apply click on save and run so for this let's copy this report name and paste it over here let's copy our report description as well which is given right over here and paste it over here and if you scroll down select folder will be there click on it 
and click on this global sales report followed by select folder click on save and guys one more thing while clicking on saving make sure that you are giving report name like this which is central and eastern target accounts and scroll down and for this folder again click on select folder here we are going to choose marketing reports now click on select folder followed by save and if you have query regarding how to rename this you just need to click on report and you can find this drop down next to your created report click on that click on edit and click on save followed by save as and here you can change your name and folder so in this way you can change it and now after doing this click on report again followed by new report and here I'm going to choose all followed by users for that let's search this click on user followed by start report and make sure you have enabled this update preview automatically and now click on this outline panel in add column let's search for login access and click on this login access expiry date now click on this filter span and here search for login access and click on this login access expiry date and let's cancel this now so here I'm just going to search for login so that you will find last login so click on it and under this last login I'm just going to click on date there you will find login access expiry date so choose it and just leave range as all time click on apply and in this filter let's search for last login click on that and operator should be not equal to followed by use relative date so you can find it over here so click on this use relative date and for this let's enter value which is given over here in our challenge itself so copy this and paste it over here now click on apply now click on save and run let's copy our report name which is given right over here and paste it let's copy our description as well copy this and paste it over here let's choose our folder as adoption report click on select folder so click on this global sales report so from there you will find this adoption report so choose it click on select folder so once if it is done click on save so that's all about this challenge let's go back and click on verify step so yeah guys we have successfully completed our third challenge as well remaining challenges will be available in the same playlist do check that see you all on next video until then bye bye